All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's official European Grand Final Championship for the New Way to Play tournament. Today, we will be watching BTS and Loka fight it out to see who will be the Grand Champions. I hope you guys are excited to join us in today's stream. I will also have a co-commentator here with me today, Fishy, who should be joining us in just a moment. And hopefully we'll have some very exciting games today. Both teams have fought really well throughout the season, and I'm looking forward to the good games and the action. And of course, there will also be codes at certain periods of the stream that you will be able to access some containers from. So that should be very, very exciting stuff. All right. And let's see. Alrighty. So. All right. Hello, everybody. We're going to be watching this. As Fatness said, we're going to be watching BPS play against Loka in the Grand Finals for the New Way to Play tournament. We've got a whole lot of Type 71's. First match of the day is going to be on Middleburg. And we're live here. What do you think is going to go down here, Fatness? Seventy ones from BTS. Uh, I mean, I'm we've sure got... they are going to take a hill engagement for sure. Oh yeah, I mean they're already going up the hill. We've got EFQC in the Sheridan going to be getting some spots off. Ghosty Jones is one the Type seventy one. Look at all those tanks spotted. Ooh, and look at that, the Kron. Oh my gosh. The Kron all he of his points and yeah, that shows the effectiveness of the Sheridan's view range for sure. Yeah, that buff coming in clutch for sure. That Sheridan able to get spots off from a huge distance out. And Jasio Yasio is definitely gonna be feeling that one. For sure, for sure. And so that instantly is giving BTS a strong advantage for the start of this game, at least in terms of hit points, because that Kron, one of the most essential heavy tanks for holding the hill, is now very low on hit points. But they are definitely down on the caps, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that Kron is definitely going to be a weak point later on. They can't really hold the hill just as well. As you can see, he's very far back. But Loka was able to take C and give him the cap advantage. Mm-hmm. And so we'll have to see. This will potentially force BTS into having to make a pressure here because as long as they're down on cap, Loka have the ability to dig in and hold positions. But of course, uh, FQC in the town, in the Sheridan, may have considered going for B cap, but that is not an option because Loka have Yen and a Batshatian holding the town, which is going to prevent him from taking B cap. And I think that's definitely going to force bps into making some kind of pressure up on the hill here as loka is finally jumping into the b cap so we can expect that push coming pretty soon absolutely i mean they're already starting to make the play they have to do it quickly because two caps down is going to be ticking up very soon way to success already pushing leading maybe a little bit ahead though yeah he might have been there just a little bit too early he's definitely lost quite a few hit points but the main force general zerd dan daniel they're all pushing in straight into loka but they are really set up to defend here they have those type 71s in the corner that can pull back and of course a crossfire from the krons and marcus and psychopath holding in the back bps really can't make this push but they are at least getting their hands on the c cap which should even out the odds a little bit and hopefully they will be able to make a counter push from here or Loka will start pressuring them in return as they are definitely losing hit points very, very quickly here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've already got the two caps that Loka had now is going to be in BPS's favor. Each piece are pretty much even and no tanks are down yet. I mean, Loka now going to be counter pushing a little bit here onto Zerd and Daniel X SXB. Yes, it looks like Zerd is stuck in a pretty Ooh. nasty situation, losing a ton yeah. of hit points. He is going to be going down He's very fast. Down. Zerd gets taken out, and that is leaving Daniel in the Kron. He is probably going to be the next tank targeted out here, left alone in the C cap. And General and Foxy are both rotating out towards the outside of the hill. But so far, this game is looking quite decent for Loka, who are about to take hill control and force BTS, BPS to fight on the outside of this hill. And so... Yeah. We'll see if Loka can maintain Not the momentum and the crossfires here. 
Yeah, I mean, general now getting blood out, there's not a whole lot that uh, BPS can do anymore. They're looking for some kills. Marcus is very low, Yasio as well in the Kran, but he's going to be kiting Foxy. And I think Foxy is just going to be wasting his time a little bit. The Kran can just mm -hmm. go ring around the Rosie with him. Of course, and, with the Type 71's mobility, however, he will have the ability to catch them up, especially with General as support. The question is, we can see there's a 1v1 of the Light Tanks the in the caps. town. Almeri and the Caps, of course, in BPS's favor. The Sheridan yeah. really coming in clutch here to take those Caps away from Loka. And I believe that is going to end this game for for Loka. BPS just have way too many Cap points as long as they stay alive. Yeah, I mean, look at that. There was a kill there, so it's not over just yet. BPS will need to just survive, though, with those two Type 71s. Loka doesn't have the HP to push, and they waited a little bit too long, I think. They definitely could have made a play earlier, but didn't do so. Mm hmm So game one, going to BPS, two caps. Actually, not a very... Not something that happens very often on EU. For the matches that I was watching, for the most part, mm -hmm. um, I mean... That the games don't really come down to caps that often. So, yeah. um, I mean, Usually first game coming out down to caps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was a very, very close battle. If BPS wasn't able to take those caps in town while that brawl was occurring, then I think what might have ended up there is Loka may have been able to actually win that engagement because they were dug in quite well on the hill. And we can definitely see Loka made a lot of really good plays during that matchup. They positioned their Type 71s perfectly on the hill to form that defense when BPS came to pressure them up top there. But... Unfortunately, as they lost the C cap, they had to deal with the two cap deficit there. And that allowed BPS in the end to clutch up via the cap points. And both teams dealing very similar amounts of damage. Loka with just a couple hundred more damage dealt, just showing how close of a nail biter that, that game really was. Absolutely. I mean, like you said, Loka was able to pull back into really strong defensive positions, setting up a really, really good crossfire. BPS knew that they had to make some sort of a play on C. Um, they were able to retake C, but they are perhaps wanting to push through. But they weren't going to be so um, unfortunate as to cross into that crossfire. So they mm -hmm. definitely have a very experienced caller there. For sure, for sure. They were able to make those quick rotations, which came in uh, very, very, very clutch there, that situation. And so we will be jumping on to the next game in just a moment, also on Middleburg. And let's see, hopefully we will see a little bit of change in strategy this game. Maybe we'll see a full-on town play, or will both teams try and hold the hill once again? Not really sure just yet. But they are learning a lot of Type 71s, which is pretty meta. And the nice thing about Type 71s is they're so versatile. You can play them aggressively in a town or on the hill. So it makes it a little bit difficult to make those predictions. But if they're running Krons, then I think it's safe to assume that Loka will probably send some forces up onto the hill because the Kron isn't going to be super useful in a town engagement. And so a Yo for BPS as well. So I think we can see, expect to see another hill engagement so far for this next battle. Absolutely. And I mean, uh, you mentioned the Type 71. A little bit of a fun fact here is that Loka um, chose Type 71 for basically 85% of their entire um, lineups for the duration of the top four tournament. Uh, BPS not taking quite as many. They're about like 60%. Um, but one of the interesting things as well is that their number two pick, you can see three of them here on the map. Mm -hmm. It's going to be IS-4. Um, yeah. so, and it's very I interesting mean, to see the IS-4 return to the kind of meta, and that's thanks to the buffs recently because it gained a lot of hit points back. So it's good at just being kind of a tank and, and holding a position, but I think BPS is really the only team so far that we have seen this season that really is still using the IS-4 effectively, which is interesting. Absolutely. Loka's already on the C cap, as we can see there, and they've set up a really strong um, front here on C. Nobody can really reset from BPS. Mm-hmm. 
And so Loka takes that nice early cap lead. Now BPS obviously are playing the much more defensive route on the hill this time. And the question is, once again, who's going to try and take advantage of those town caps? And it looks like Loka might be thinking yeah. of pushing on the outside here. But I believe they got cold feet when that Ooh. yo was spotted holding hull down that high DPM, auto-loading, heavy tank may cause some issues. But no, they are still sending it. Yen and Psychopath yeah. pushing through for way too success. Way and Zer, success. they're about to make a hardcore pressure here. And oh, oh my gosh, Yen! Goodbye. Yen absolutely, absolutely melted. annihilated. Yes, goodbye. Kitsune to Yen now and taking Loka. the brunt of the hits. Yeah, mm, way to no, success is still alive though. Look at the HP sharing. Yeah, yes, the HP sharing. BPS really demonstrating their their exceptional ability to brawl right now. Their focus fire is on point. They set up positions perfectly, and Loka Loka are definitely feeling it in this game. Yeah, I mean, BPS with the HP advantage, and now they're a little bit neutralizing C, but they know that it's not a cap game, so they're just going to be going for the kills. They smell blood in the water. Ventium is going to get focused out, it looks like here. Yes, Jassio, and we've got a one versus one here. Foxy here. Yeah, but he's not going to be one versus one for very long as Zerd is coming in, and we have ourselves a Kron sandwich, and it looks like Elmeri <laughs> on the flank, YOLOing into the Yo, trying to kill the Yo here, but it's probably not going to be enough. Just, there's too many hit points in BPS's favor for this battle as Ooh. we lose our Sheridan, just leaving the single heavy tank on the flank over here, who will shortly disappear from the battle. So very very aggressive strategy for this game by loka they really wanted to try and catch bps off guard before it came to a cap game there but unfortunately those is4s were able to hold in the spawn just so well and of course the type 71's armor profile really prevented way to success from dying and him staying alive for as long as he did was really the reason why bps was able to just easily win that game because they weren't losing any tanks in that push and of course we had yen just get absolutely annihilated by the yo and the type 71s that were holding that outside of hill and so it was just a really rough brawl for loka and i think a bit of a yolo push there for sure yeah i mean they like you said they did get a little bit of cold feet but they did set up a very aggressive front in the beginning now one of the interesting things that i would like to point out is that in top four loka actually has gone down on caps very often, and it often does lead to defeat for them. Um, BPS is actually um, kind of the opposite. They do like taking caps early, um, mm -hmm. but they have absolutely no trouble playing defensive as well. As you could see there, they had some really solid um, defense setup. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see how that works because Loka did try to take the initiative on the caps, um, so as not to go down on the caps, but it ended up backfiring on them when they couldn't make a push. So, well, I mean, what do you think about that dynamic? Yeah, honestly, it's it's it was different. Loka was very, very aggressive there. And I think maybe they were hoping to catch an early push and include out those tanks that were behind CCAP, you know, way to success and that IS-4 that were holding there and really pressure them out quickly. But I think maybe one slight mistake is they hesitated for a moment before making that push. Um, you know, those IS-4s, maybe if they'd gone just a little bit faster, they would have been able to catch them off guard and maybe clear those tanks out more quickly before the support was fully there. But that didn't happen. And of course, one thing I just like to call it is BPS so far this season, especially during yesterday's set of games, they have demonstrated an extraordinarily... Uh, ability to focus fire really well and position their tanks really well during any kind of brawl. That's what I noticed when I was watching their games back is their, their positioning, they don't get clustered very often and they hit their shots and their crossfire and focus fire is really good. So jumping on in to the third game of this match, which is going to be on Normandy. BPS, once again, taking a Kron, double Yo's, Sheridan, triple type 71s, Loka. Sending it in with <laughs> six Type 71s and a 60 TP. They have fully embraced the new way to play meta. What do you think about this lineup, Fishy, and how is it going to roll in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, if Loka is able to take a little bit more initiative, I think, um, they just have to be decisive here. BPS, as you said, very strong with Focus Fire. Um, so I guess that maybe is kind of uh, intimidating them a little bit. Um, they recognize that BPS are very good at setting up into a defensive position um as well as making a push so they're a little bit um shook i would say loka but i do think if loka tries to take a little bit more confidence in themselves 
Um, as you said, they hesitated on that last game. If they had made the push decisively early on, it could have been a different game. Mm -hmm. I, I would have to agree there. And so, so far, it looks like Marcus has taken the decap for Loka, instantly giving them a bit of a cap lead. And of course, Elmeri has lost some hit points to the Yos, but very minor bleeding so far from both teams, except for that Sheridan from BPS, who did lose a pretty big chunk of HP. But of course, the Sheridan can always run away. The big thing right now is that Loka mm -hmm. are once again trying to take those caps uh, and get that cap pressure on to BPS here. And of course, they are going to be up at least 45 points, probably about 55, 60 points ahead of this game for BPS, which is going to force BPS into either making a pressure, a brawl push, or to try and retake some of those caps. So uh, we'll see how it works. We'll see. So far, it's a bit of a standoff at the moment. Mm -hmm. As you can see there, the Sheridan was on the beach. I believe he was be able to spot anything trying to reset the A cap if they fire. So... Uh, BPS with a very thought out plan there for taking the A cap, but also, I mean, they have left C very open. I'm not sure if they'd just be able to put like a type 71 on that. I mean, that cap is fairly free for them. Um, Loka doesn't have anything really that could defend against that. So if mm -hmm. BPS wanted, I think they could just take control of the cap situation right here. And it looks like they might be putting Ghosty and Foxy into that. Yeah, Ghosty and Foxy and the Type 71s look like they're rotating towards C, and of course they should be relatively safe capping C because they have the Yo's sniping in the tank destroyer positions up behind both of those Type 71s. So even if, even if Loka were to try and make a push to defend C, there really is nothing they can do about that. And obviously they've read that because they're taking that C cap, which is going to turn the tables a little bit and force Loka's hand into making a play very soon. And it looks like that rotation might be happening towards A, triple type 71s. Vietnam, Marcus, and Elmeri over here are definitely getting a little bit more aggressive. And it looks like Katsuni is going to maybe pop into A cap. But of course that Sheridan is providing the vision to spot this entire lineup up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, as you can see there, the Kran was trying to get some spots off Daniel SXB, and he's mm -hmm. continuing to do so. I mean, information is just going to be absolutely key mm -hmm. here. And Loka just have a ton of tanks spotted, but Daniel gets hit hard by the 60 oh. TP, and now he's getting pushed. Yeah, so it looks like triple type 71s and the M6Yo have seen the weakness in Loka's lineup and they're going to push in towards D, but a change of direction, realizing that yeah. Loka's type 71s have been baited into the mid. BVS made an instant rotation and they're now going to push into Marcus, Elmeri, and Vietnam. They are overextended here. I believe that these yeah. type oh 71s from Loka are going to go down very, very fast. Once again, BPS just showing. Excellent, excellent uh, focus fire in this situation and a very, very quick rotation. They are up by about a thousand hit points so far in this brawl. BPS is, and I believe they're doing pretty good so far. It's not over just yet. Yeah. They, ha they have the gun advantage and the HP advantage right now, which is very critical. An incredibly quick um, push was received by uh, BPS. I mean, they were able to pull back Daniel SXB, who had bled a lot, and then came in with the brunt of their forces, as you saw there, in the counter push. But as you said, it is definitely not over yet. Um, look at that. General is just about out. Mm -hmm. General is definitely struggling here a little bit. Hopefully, Jassy will be able to take care of General and then Yen, and they can work down Daniel. So Daniel is going to get isolated next on BPS, and he's going to go down. Katsune, unfortunately, is going to probably go down pretty soon for Loka. So he gets taken out, and that just leaves Jassy and Yen versus three tanks. This is going to be a very close game, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. Psychopath finally goes down. What a gigantic role he was able to get for a mm -hmm. kill shot. The EEF. If FQC is going to be pushing in, Yasio is pushing for the Sheridan, but Ghosty now and, coming in with the Type mm -hmm. 71 in a solid position and, here. <gasps> and here's the thing, Loka just has those in. triple caps. Loka has triple caps. BPS has to push in. They don't have a choice right yeah, now and because he, if they don't make a absolutely. play, Loka are going to win this on caps. Now, I think Yen's going to go down here very shortly. It all depends on this next shot from Ghosty. Oh. If Ghosty pens this and Ghosty F pens this, pen. then it is game over. The gun blocking. Oh, he oh, gets crazy. taken out. This game is getting close. Ghosty is now a one-shot 980. 
899 cap points. As long as Jassio can stay alive long enough to pick up a kill here, he can get this win. All he has to do is pen this next shot. Oh, he ricochets! No, he bounces he ricochets. the shell. But you know what? He still oh has 1,200 HP. He still has an opportunity to clutch up this game. It all depends yeah, if, if he, he gets some pick here. up the skill. Oh, oh he ricochets no, once again! And it looks no. like this game, if he gets taken out, then Loka, this game the caps is going though. to be a Oh my gosh. What a close if game! If he had that shot. If yeah, he had that, that shot, really it would have gone to like, caps for them. Just barely losing the opportunity to clutch up that win for Loka. I was impressed because BBS made an instant rotation during that game. They wiped out those Type 71s in mid, and Loka was making that comeback, getting those caps. But in the end, that Type 71 armor profile is just so strong. And I'm sure under the intense pressure of playing in the finals right now, it's very easy to miss a couple of shots i know that from personal experience so unfortunately for loca they have lost this round due to well just a couple of missed shots really just one shot yeah. it came down to one shot which a real nail biter of a game what do you think fishy yeah i mean absolutely insane look at that efqc and ghosty jones topping the leaderboard for their team in terms of damage and like you could see that in the dynamic um one of the things that really really stood out to me in that final brawl there was that the type 71 uh ghosty just went straight for it i mean like that's absolute trust in your teammate and in yourself in your own abilities like mm -hmm. he was going into two enemy heavy tanks there and he knew mm -hmm. that he was going to have the backup of his sheridan there and i mean just mm -hmm. again the initiative and the absolute confidence that bps has taken into these games is just absolutely showing mm -hmm. and they're getting the results because of it for sure, for sure. So, so far, the score is 3-0 in favor of BPS. So hopefully, you know what? I want to see a tiebreaker matchup for this for this set of games. Let's uh, let's hope Loka can pull out some clutch wins here just to add to that intensity. But so far, BPS really do seem to be on fire in the brawls and in taking positions and just really quick reaction time. That's one thing that I have noticed that throughout most of these games so far is they've been reacting to situations very quickly, putting on that pressure instantly the moment Locust start making a play. And that has allowed them to just perform so well during these last three battles. But we will see. It is a best of nine lineup and we're jumping into the second game on Normandy. Now, this time, BPS have a concept 1B double crown wagons and quad type 71s versus an m6 yo vk72 triple type 71s and double 60 tps from loca so a bit of a change up in the lineups loca going a little bit slower with the 60 tps and vk72 which makes me think they're going to try more for a holding strat so getting caps early is going to be pretty essential here so we'll, we'll see how this plays out yeah absolutely i mean the 60 tps and the vk72 i imagine they're going to be trying to go for some sort of a nuke on something that's a ton of alpha but uh, i'm not exactly sure where they'd be able to do that sort of setup as you said they have to get the caps early but they've already gone down on the caps uh bps with a solid lineup as well i mean they've got two crans as well as a concept incredibly toxic hold down tanks on a very very solid hold down map so uh, we could see those and, tanks kind of dominating. Mm -hmm. And so far, Loka's already started to bleed some hit points within their 60 TP and Type 71. Now, BPS have pressured two Type 71s very aggressively into the middle of the map where the airplane is located. And those Type 71s are going to be great for kind of spotting up Loka's movements. And, of Ooh. course, as long as they don't bleed, holding and becoming bait now way to success losing quite a few hit points there as it looks like he was penned through the turret by the 60 tps and looks like loca are so far very kind of split up around the map i think they're just trying to figure out a way in which they can pressure bps here because currently bps have the cap point lead and they are all pulling back into defensive positions which is going to force loca's hand yeah i mean you can see loca just absolutely finding some they're trying to find some angles there you can see marcus trying to get some shots into the mid uh yen has some shots as well and trying to cover for ventium there daniel s6b is mm -hmm. now going to be pushing forwards as well as uh general for bps though so they're going to be setting up a uh again the toxic hold downs in the middle mm -hmm. 
Yes, for sure. But Loka have taken the double caps now. And so this is going to force BPS into making some kind of pressure onto Loka. We will see how this rolls. What are they going to do with these two type 71s that are currently kind of stuck in this ditch, but they are very well covered by two type 71s in B cap and, or I mean, Kronwagen's in B cap and two type 71s in D. And of course, FQC kind of spotting the outside lane here. And so I think they have an overall pretty good cover of each other. But the question is, will they be able to make that push and then of course we can see ghosty um and foxy are both rotating out of decap towards the mid so that makes me think bps are preparing to make a push maybe through b and a definitely and i mean loca has to be incredibly careful now especially now that ventium has been plotted on the other side bps is way way closer to each other than loca is loca trying to set up mm -hmm. some angles to cover each other but i think they're just too spread out for now if bps do decide to make a play i think um, they'd be in a pretty good position to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, especially those two Krons, those two Type 71s in the mid together, they can really push anywhere into Loka right now together. And ooh, ooh. Venom losing a lot of hit points there. Looks like he was hit by the... Uh, Type 71s, I guess. So he's losing hit <laughs> yeah. points. Loka is definitely bleeding out. They are losing hit points. They're <sighs> starting to make that pressure into way too success. He goes oh, down instantly. He Zerd does go down. now isolated in the mid, but Yen is also losing a lot of hit points during this engagement. We will see. It looks like Katsune is pushing in down below, but Ghosty is going to ignore him to try and support Daniel, who is also losing a ton of hit points in the zone. Foxy now overextended, trying to kill Yen. He is going to lose a lot of hit points as well in this engagement but of course vps do have that concept on b farming from the top so we will see how ventnom and jassio work this situation they really need to clear that type 71 but ventnom losing a ton of hit points here as he is forced to turn around to try and shoot the concept and the engagement over here in the b cap looks like it is going to be in the benefit of bps they have a gun advantage in this engagement elmeri is about to go down and while kitsune has full hit points he is now versus three vehicles by himself. Yasio also about to 1v1 the concept on B. In terms of hit points, it is very, very close. But of course, two versus three is not looking very ideal for Loka at all. F is taking one shot here. And of course, as he's running the two shot yo, he is going to have a rather long reload. So, or is that the three shot yo? <laughs> There's a three I shot. I believe that's yeah. the three shot. Never mind. Three shot yo. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Loka just might be able to pull this off. As long as they pedal off their shots, they got this. And look, there we go. There we go. Good job. Loka pulling in, maybe, for the win Wait, here. He's, it's not Zerd over yet. Zerd is getting gun blocked. Yeah, Zerd is getting yeah. gun blocked. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. As long oh he's oh, not able to get the kill. Able to pick up the kill. As long as he takes Four one clip from this yo, Kitsune should have this. And there we go. Excellent work by Kitsune there, providing the cover to block Zerd from picking up a kill on that yo. And because Zerd missed that single shot, it allows Loka to pick up their first win of this series. A very good and aggressive game. Well played to both teams, really. Yeah, I mean, super close game at the end there. Like you said, these games are coming down to a couple missed shots. But um, like, again, BPS was very clustered together, but Loka taking the initiative did bleed a ton of damage in the beginning. <laughs> we see the, the fire emotes getting done to both Yasio <laughs> as well as EFQC. Um, yeah, both of those guys doing a ton of damage for their team. Yasio in the yo, the triple shot yo, able to pump out the damage. And that is going to be absolutely critical in that sort of a play. And I mean, again, Loka did bleed a whole lot in the beginning, but they did take the initiative, got some really good shots into the tanks in the mid, and ultimately they won the game. So we'll hope that they can continue the momentum that they've got here. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely a very, very exciting game. And Loka did a good job there. I mean, they were very split up during most of this game. They had their team kind of split around the map and everywhere. And as a matter of fact, that's the only reason why Katsume had so many hit points at the end. He was all the way down in A cap while that engagement was happening. And he was just trying his best to drive up into the fight. But having full hit points in the end of that battle came in really clutch because that allowed him to just push in aggressively in that two versus two situation. And just having those hit points allowed him to win that brawl there, especially with that yo pinning that last full magazine. And as you were saying, Fishy, it really does come down to one or two shots in these games, just showing 
how close it is and how essential pedic those shots really can be at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely difficult against those type 71s. They have just so much traverse and so much armor that even if, or even like the top players, as you can see on the EU server have difficulty penning it. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just really tough to make every shot count in this sort of a meta. But sure. uh, ultimately, that's what it comes down to for the wins. Next map is going to be Castilla, though. So yeah, um, that's gonna we be should very see some interesting, interesting maps. Yeah. yeah, Castilla has always produced very interesting results. And yeah, as you can see, for the first time, we're seeing some T100 LTs and, well, Bat Shots as well being used. Two light tanks for Loka, Bat Shot, T100 LT, as well as two lights for BPS with the Sheridan T100 LT. Now, of course, the Sheridan does have the highest view range of the light, so that's going to be very helpful for BPS here. A couple of Kron Vragans, triple type 71s. Loka also running triple type 71s, and, and instead of Krons, they're also running double yo's so very essentially the lineups are very similar in composition here just with yo's and cron swapped out and of course a bat chat for loca instead of a sheridan and so we can see way to success is moving up to an early spotting position i believe from this spot you should be able to spot loca going Ooh. into c cap and oh they get spotted right away and this is going to prevent loca from getting that c cap and unfortunately they will not be able to cap a either because fqc here spotting the outside of a which really prevents ooh. them but oh he gets sniped by kutsuni in the t100 lt who was all the way at the back of the map behind c putting a really good shot into fqc there and el Mary <gasps> is relocating oh my goodness he is hitting some crazy shot. shots yeah, yeah, yeah. FPC really losing quite a few hit points, and that might be pretty essential later on if those light tanks decide to fight it out during some period of this game. Oh. But, ooh, Marcus losing a ton of hit points Marcus. there. He went in towards the C cap, but of course, way to success in his position, just keeping the C cap perma spotted, which is exactly what BPS want to do here is prevent, uh, is prevent Loka from getting that C cap. But Foxy here sneakily mm -hmm. moving all the way onto a cap they have read the lineup they realize that loca does not have anyone on the main hill of castilla and so they should be able to with relative ease take a cap and that's going to put loca into a very tough position because losing a cap on castilla is a very difficult situation to recover from especially if the enemy the enemy team you're facing manages to dig themselves in and just cover that one or two caps so we'll, we'll see what do you think they're going to do here fishy I mean, Loka's very much hold into that C area. They've been trying so hard to try to take control of that cap, but they're not able to do so. I mean, the light tank of um, Way to Success just keeping that spotted. I mean, now that he's been spotted, maybe they'll get a little bit of an opportunity to take C, but he just needs to poke a little bit. But at this point, again, like he's, it looks like he's just getting off of there, getting out of there. Um, they already have the cap advantage, so they don't have to stress too much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah strategy is going to be really difficult. A shots there. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of hit points, both teams are actually pretty equally matched here. But once again, it's just the issue that BPS can just dig in a defense. You have Daniel here, who is just kind of sitting in the mid. Of course, Psychopath from Loka is trying to spot up the kind of B cap area, but Zerd is sitting behind B cap, so he'll be able to provide excellent defense. You have Foxy and FQC over on the main hill that's preventing Loka from making any plays. And so this is going to force Loka into a situation where they, they have to pressure somewhere, but everywhere they go, BPS so far is pretty secure in positioning. And so looks like Kitsune is pulling in towards the Ooh. mid. He might either be trying to sneak into B cap or uh, back towards A. I'm not really 100% sure right now. He's just kind of chilling in the town. And so far, Yen is rotating back towards B. So maybe Loka is going to make a play for B here. But they have to make a play eventually. Because if they don't, they're going to they're lose this to cap points. Absolutely. I mean, B is a little bit of an open um cap to take um we've got a lot of tanks here i think way to success as well as fqc have shots into that b cap i mean this position is absolutely dominant over a large portion mm -hmm. of the map and it's uh it's one of the cooler positions in the game i'd say um bps mm -hmm. have a really strong hold around the a area as well as um the b area so it's again it's going to be very difficult for loca to make a play however they are sneaking a light tank up towards that a cap the castilla mm -hmm. and i'm sure bps expects this because right now all that loca has to do is somehow 
cap A. Now, that's not going to be an easy feat, but if they manage to cap A, then they'll have the double cap advantage over BPS here. So I'm sure BPS is prepared for that option, especially as Yen has been spotted on the crossing by Zerd. Taking a shot in the side, he is pulling back up towards the hill here. And of course, it's just... He won't be able to cap A, hey, not Ooh. with those Kran Wagons and Type 71 sitting up top. And it looks like BPS is about to make Zerd a push. Zerd is getting chewed right apart, today. yeah. Ooh, Zerd gets taken out very, very quickly there. But General Foxy, they are pressuring hardcore into Yen. Yen pulling straight into the ditch, but he has cover fire from the Bashathion and the T100 LT. And I think they realize they actually cannot make that pressure. Now, with Zerd no longer defending Ooh. B cap, Loka may have an opportunity to actually take back B here. We will see. Can't quite see if they're on B. Yep, they are sending tanks onto B right now. And. Hit points are in favor of Loka. I'm really impressed. They're making quite a nice comeback here because Yen was able to pull off that hill so quickly and Ooh. he was not taken out. And of course, losing Zerd. And now Loka have those double caps. So BPS, the tables have turned. They now need to yeah. make a pressure. And now all Loka has to do is just pull back, defend B and C and try not to lose tanks. Ooh. And of course, BPS is just bleeding HP. So this game is yeah. really, really good for Loka. Looking, yeah, extremely good for Loka. Loka with the bat chat was just like tearing apart Zerd. He was getting shots into the top of the hill. Really, really solid covered fire there. Um, mm -hmm. And now Loka just has the advantage in this sort of situation. The type 70 on a fox, he can't really push. Um, or <laughs> I guess he's trying to, but oh, El Mary and General. Kitsune have seen an opportunity on General, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, General gets taken down. And so Foxy pushes from above, but man, these caps are just going up in Loka's favor as we lose another Kron from BPS. Oh. And 948 cap points with a double cap. Someone's getting crushed. Oh, all right. Yeah. And 1,000 cap points to Loka. Loka pulling back two games in a row, bringing the score. 3-2 to BPS. This is definitely becoming a lot more intense. Maybe Loka have found their momentum. Yeah, it seems like it for sure. I mean, look at that. Elmeri with the batch at 25T. 4,500 damage. Absolutely huge. Um, <laughs> we've got the unlucky, I guess, there. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, Zerd was in a position to reset that B area and spot it. but. Um, yeah, I mean, Loka put Elmeri in a very, very solid position to not mm -hmm. only overlook A, but also get shots into um, Zerd and the tank that was resetting it there. Um, ultimately, that did open up the game for Loka. Um, they weren't exactly up on caps just yet because of that kill, but it definitely um, made it much closer. Uh, I think what actually opened up the game more was the the shots into the, the castle area. I mean, Loka was... Mm -hmm. or, yeah, Loka was absolutely getting like really, really solid bleeds onto the tanks from BPS up on that hill. And then Loka was just able to pick up some few kills and swing the caps in their favor. Just really solid angles there by Loka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe the 200 LT from Loka getting those early shots into the Sheridan for BPS. I, was he, I believe he was all the way up on the very peak of the hill overlooking C and he was able to take a couple of sneaky shots there and that prevented bps sheridan from being able to be all that aggressive because now he was down 600 hit points and yeah bps they it looks like they're in a really solid position for that game but zerd getting taken out was pretty significant because you know loka made the rotation they realized hey zerd's a bit isolated here so they were able to cross frame out from up on the hill take his tank out instantly and that left loka free to take the b cap and just completely turn the game around because once they had those double caps bps had to make a push but they didn't have a ton of hit points either and so loka was able to kind of turn the tables and just dig in for that fight so jumping on in to the second game on castilla BPS running a Bashation. They also have double Kranwagens, triple Type 71s, and a Vickers Light. Loka running a 60TB, Bashation, T100 LT, and Quad Type 71s. Both have very versatile lineups for this match. Both running double lights, both running lots of heavy tanks. Of course, BPS with the autoloaders, while um, Loka preferred to take more of the Type 71 kind of meta heavies. And looks like both teams are going to be playing pretty aggressively in towards the oh. season. 
cool. side of this engagement with Kutsuni. Look at Kutsuni. Kutsune going towards B. Yes. And yeah. we also have Elmeri going down below to spot the crossing. FQC taking a few shots there. Kutsune so far has not bled any hit points, but at the moment, he is unable to cap B. He obviously is unsure 100% where the Vickers and some of those other unspotted tanks are. But Loka playing very aggressively here to take Ooh. that map control. And Elmeri going for a very interesting spotting maneuver. He does yeah. manage to spot all of those Type 71s. And you know what? He might even be able to take B oh cap my for gosh. free now. As long as he He's doesn't going get crazy. Set, he is He just full sent it in. And of course, Lo Loka is digging in around C cap. But oh no. General and FQC about to annihilate <gasps> El Mary, ooh, losing 700. He's about to lose 1,100. Oh, oh my he gosh. gets taken, he gets out. taken out. FQC he almost goes down out. at the same but time. But FQC bleeding a ton of hit points at the same time. Oh, and oh. he is taken out as well. Both Bashat Yons are eliminated. However, it is still in the favor of Loka, who managed to at least cap B before losing their Bashat Yon. And of course, Loka have the 200 LT, Type 71 on the hill. They have two Type 71s holding C, one holding behind C, and a 60 TP just chilling behind B. So BPS have to make a play. And it looks like they're starting to rotate out of C cap. They probably want to do something about maybe either pushing back towards B and A. And those Type 71s, they are pushing towards A. We will see if Kutsune is able to escape for free. The 200 LT's mobility is very good. He just might be able to escape here. He So far, he manages to escape without taking a single shot of damage. So once again, that is very good for Loka. Now, BPS are going to be taking a cap back once again. Marcus in the Type 71 probably won't be able to get all the resets by himself there. And he is bleeding a lot of hit points here. But it doesn't matter a ton because Loka realizing the bps have rotated out from c are now starting to cap c themselves once again forcing the cap pressure on bps and it looks like bps are just going to push straight through the hill marcus is a little bit isolated in this situation and I feel like he could go down very, very quickly here if BPS just full send it for him. He is holding the outside of the hill. He does not yet know he is getting YOLO'd. He is down to 171 HP, and he will probably be eliminated very soon. And he goes down. Goodbye. Kitsune, so far, holding one of the strongest call of of positions in the game. But those Type 71s with incredibly good mobility are just going to send it onto him. He has tried to block the types, but it's not working. Getting isolated. He is going to have to pull back, losing 940 hit points. Will BPS be able to recover? from this matchup as they're clearing out the hill and this T1RLT Kitsune just running for his life but Foxy will probably pick up the kill and he goes down very nice counter push by BPS quickly taking control of the a cap and and pretty much just annihilating all the tanks that were left on the hill by Loka Daniel and the Kron kind of pushing forward here but now Loka's forces are a little bit split up between C and B and it's going to be pretty rough with that Vickers light spotting and farming from up top Daniel's gonna get pressured here but I, we will see. Is it enough to win the game for Loka, or will it, the dub still go to BPS here? Yeah, I mean BPS just have an absolutely dominant um, HP advantage here. Like they are very far down on caps, but uh, I mean just a really, really strong counter push on that A cap. Loka wasn't mm -hmm. able to dig in quite hard enough. I mean, look at this. Mm -hmm. Loka down to three thousand five hundred HP. BPS almost double that. And even though they have a really, really solid grasp on the caps, they weren't able to pick up the win just on HP. Yeah, unfortunately, when the moment they lost the hill and they lost their T100 LC, who was kind of chilling the hold down position in spawn, it just left BPS free to just push in. And even with the cap deficit, now that they're able to pick up all of these kills, it is easily going to be the win for BPS. So nice recovery there from BPS. It was definitely not ideal at first because they were down double caps. Both teams did lose Bash at the Ons relatively early in the game, but BPS able to make that really quick push through A and getting the win for this battle. So not too bad. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So yeah. as you can see, way to success in the Vickers light. He spent the entirety of that match chilling on the tank destroyer hill, farming up crossfires in a hold on position. Uh, really unmovable. There was nothing that could be done about him. He just sat there the whole time. Loka Almeri, unfortunately, not having the best game. He did manage the cap, but was unable to escape because of those double auto loaders catching him off guard. FQC as well, once again, getting caught off guard. And this goes to show 
in the current meta, just how difficult it can be to have light tanks be fully effective in this meta because you get slightly caught off guard by any of these auto loaders or fast mobile heavy tanks and those lights are getting deleted instantly. And I can't tell you how much of a difference it may have made for Loka if they just had a bash shot to yawn that was still alive around at the end of that match to kind of help around dealing 906 damage magazines into the enemy, uh, into BPS at least for Loka. But that was not the case because those lights got targeted instantly and taken down. Yeah, I mean, El Mary, with a really solid like spotting run as well as uh, the B cap. I mean, the B cap is very difficult to take on Castilla. You have to make a really huge commitment. But um, ultimately, um, it, I, I find it kind of interesting because I guess he thought that he was pulling out the safe way, but that ended up being the way that VPS was going to catch him off guard. Um, if he had just pulled straight back out, I think he would have been better off. I mean, they had spotted the VPS um, heavy tanks mostly in the channel on the C cap. I don't think they would have been able to get shots into him. Mm -hmm. um, so, if, <laughs> yeah, I just find that a little bit interesting. Um, however, as you were saying, um, bps with a very solid counter push towards a and they just kept the momentum going got the damage in picked up the win yeah very very good work there uh, recovering from that deficit and now we're jumping into the next batch set of matches on fort despair which i'm sure is going to be a lot of heavy tanks and of course loca taking uh five type 71s a concept 1b and a 60 tp whereas bps are taking a bash out the on so they are still running a light tank triple is4s and triple type 71 so bps once again showing their use of is4s which is once again i believe they're the only team that i've seen so far that really do value those is4s and they are currently making a play kind of in their spawn whereas loka are being quite aggressive towards a and b and of course the bat chat's going to spot that up so bps will know instantly that loka is not fully committed to c so i wonder if they're going to uh, make a push based off that information the bat shop Young gave them yeah, way to success, already getting onto that C cap. Not a whole lot that Loka will be able to do. They're just not in positions to do anything. And, I mean, he's the only one that's over here. I believe he might have another teammate as well. It's a little bit difficult to tell based off of the... But, uh, yeah, nope. he's completely alone on C. Um, <laughs> completely Loka, alone but safe. Yeah, alone but safe. Loka now <laughs> making a play onto that B cap. B cap tends to be a little bit... Uh, tricky to take, but uh, taking it with pretty, um, just pretty safely. Um, now A is the only cap that is <laughs> going to remain untaken, but I think uh, it's safe to say that A is one of the most difficult caps to tank probably in the game. Yeah, it's just so wide in the open, and of course, Loka don't have a light tank that could try and cap unspotted they would have to send a heavy tank in there with that bash shot the on floating around he will get spotted and probably nuked instantly by those is4s and double type 71 so so bps they're playing very passively i mean they have these two type 71s all the way in the back of the spawn triple is4s just sitting here in the tank destroyer bushes they don't want to move they're trying to wait for loca to make some kind of mistake but at the moment loca isn't really too keen to move either i think they are aware of what's happening now this could be a glitch yeah, with the free cam, but is Zerd, does Zerd have any ammunition in his eyes for? Yeah, he, he most likely does. I believe this happens sometimes. Okay, but, okay, yeah. okay. Um, I was a little curious there because it didn't show any kind of loaded ammunition from my perspective. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he does. But um, Loka, yeah, as you said, hesitant to make a play, and that's just because they have basically no information on what the BPS mm -hmm. tanks are up to. Like They haven't got any spotting. They won't be able to do so they don't have a light tank this game and i mean it's just going to be kind of a, a roll of the dice on where they are able to make a play most likely they'll try to make a play on c but they don't know if the is4s are all sitting back there and that's why it's a little bit it's going to be tough for them to um try to make a play and it's definitely not going to be an informed decision so it's going to be yeah. a little bit of a hail mary at the end yeah, for sure. And of course, Loka, they don't want to, they don't have any wiggle room, right? If they lose this game, 
it, it's, pre it's pretty much over. So I, I'm sure that's also playing into the reason why they're being so passive right now is they just really want to make sure if they're going to be pushing into any of BPS's tanks here, they are going to be fully prepared. Now, the Type 71s are spotted in B from Loka. They also have Elmeri over here with Kutsune, just kind of overlooking C. But once again, the lack of information, Bashathion just spotting up Loka's <laughs> vehicles and they're there's really nothing for them to do i mean they're just yeah. stuck without information bps could have their whole tank set up uh, right behind oh but bps oh. they're getting ready to make a push here looks like they're going in towards b deciding to be the aggressors of this matchup and loka are going to be forced to pull back as triple is4s and a is and a type 71 are pushing straight into encounter oh, and b but not getting caught in the open he's trying to run oh, away but man. he loses a ton of hit points it there and that is that's just not looking super good for loka in terms of positioning here. not at all yeah i mean loka are up momentarily on the caps or on the hp i mean but um they just don't have their tanks set up in positions just yet to get any sort of bleeds on those bps tanks that were pushing forwards the ice force made it straight up into their faces without taking basically any damage ventium also getting caught off guard um, pushing straight mm -hmm. across, trying to get safe, but the Batchat was able to meet him over on that C area. Kitsune going to go down. It, I mean, yeah, <laughs> just is... all out brawl now. Yeah, it's an but all out brawl, caps. but Loka are bleeding hit points. And of course, BPS only have 40 cap points to go. And so, yeah, this game looks like it's in favor of BPS. And Loka and just BPS, yeah. unable. Unable to position themselves well enough because of the lack of vision. I was a little uncertain at first with BPS taking that Bashatian, but in the end, that Bashatian kept Loka spotted the entire time, and Loka had really no clue what BPS was doing. So that light tank was really a game changer there, and just being able to know what the opponents are doing and how they're rotating. And the moment they realized Loka wasn't fully secured on encounter cap, BPS just decided, even though they had that cap advantage, let's just send in the push, take the brawl, and it went very, very well to them. So congratulations to BPS. Yeah, I mean, very solid play there. From both teams, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see here, thumbs up all around. But um, yeah, ultimately, BPS just uh, masters of controlled aggression. As you can see there, they were up on the caps, but they ended up making the push anyways. They said, we're not going to wait for you to make a play. We want to make our play. Mm -hmm. We have the information and we're going to take you out right now. And that's absolutely what happened. For sure, for sure. And so that leaves the new way to play. Uh, that was the fifth the fifth win for BPS, I believe. So yeah, BPS are the champions. Congratulations to BPS. Condolences to Loka. You guys still played really, really well. I really enjoyed seeing that kind of comeback that Loka made during the middle uh, period of this set of games. And, and once again, we're just going to call it out. BPS overall just really demonstrating great focus fire, great positioning, and quick rotations, which just made them a very strong force to be reckoned with during the set of games that that just really played overall very, very well. And so I would like to remind the viewers of today's stream. Uh, what is it? We, there was a bonus code. I, I don't know if it is up right now. There were some slight technical difficulties. Alexandra says hello to you guys. There were supposed to be a few other Wargaming co-hosts here today, but uh, technical difficulties meant that it's just me and fishy here so there is going to be a bonus code hopefully the stream will show it to you guys very soon at some period of time and uh yeah i, I guess that's a lot of the important information i'll see if Wargaming has anything else they want me to say to you guys we'll show cup for winners now okay cool uh not 100 percent sure what that is fishy do you have anything to add to this <laughs> No, I just thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the matches as much as we did. Absolutely beautiful games played by both BPS as well as Loka. Uh, congratulations mm -hmm. to Loka. And um, we'll, we'll see you in the future. So yeah that sounds great thank you thank you so much to everyone for dropping by today's stream it was great having you guys hope you enjoyed the commentary and even with a couple technical difficulties we still tried to provide together with wargaming the best experience possible and hopefully we'll have some more exciting tournaments coming up during this autumn 
probably Blitz Cup season. I look forward to being there with you guys. And you all take care. Have a wonderful day, night, or morning, depending on where you are in the world.